and you ultimately made the NBA, but it, after college, it was a long journey to the NBA. You went undrafted <laughs> after your senior year, and then you signed with the Cavaliers at a solid summer league, but ultimately they waived you, and then you got picked up by the Spurs. You played a few games in uh, training camp in the preseason with them, and you played in the G League with them, then the D League. Uh, but when you were with them in that preseason, you got to play alongside legends and Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, Kawhi Leonard, even Danny Green. Uh, yeah. Talk a little bit if you picked up anything from those guys in that brief time you played with them. Yeah, so uh, so my first year I, I didn't get waived because I had just uh, the summer league deal with them. So okay. it was, you know, I've been waived three times in my career. So you know, these are all beneficial steps. I wasn't saying that to say that I wasn't waived, but I was just uh, just clarifying that. Yeah, yeah. I, I Cavaliers, which you know at the time they only had two guards, um, and then you know as summer league went on, I had a good summer league. You know, I got introduced to the to the to the NBA, and I realized even on my summer league team, it's a lot of good guards that you got to work through. And at the time, you know, then they even signed, you know, um, who did they sign at the time? Um, they signed a veteran guard, and then signed Matthew Delvadova back. So right. at the time, it was only fifteen players. You know, it wasn't like two ways or things like that. So it was yeah. three, 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 three players at each position, and they had filled those. So. Um, you know, in the movie, I spoke about even going to the Spurs. So when they offered the opportunity for me to come with them, like you said, such a prestigious franchise. They were really winning um, at the time. And like you said, they had Hall of Famers, you know, from Hall of Fame. Yeah. Coach, um, Greg Popovich, you know, Will Hardy, who's now um, with the Celtics. Uh, Becky Hammond was pretty much was the guards coach. And now she just won a championship with the Vegas Aces like a, a week ago. So um, just... It, that 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 franchise was loaded with basketball minds and, and, and great the greatest basketball talents you know some of the greatest to ever you know be a part of the game and yeah that was very much um I feel like that was divine in my development because like you said I got to learn so much from watching Kawhi Leonard watching Patty Mills um watching Danny Green watching how um Popovich deals with Marcus Aldridge, who's new to the team. Watching Manuel Ginobili in his last year, how he still took care of his body and was one of the most flexible, you know, that I've ever seen at almost 40. Watching Tony Parker, who's a player from abroad who had to come here and craft his way out, you know, at 18, 19. And, you know, he didn't really shoot the three as great and learn how to still be very strong and effective in the game and, you know, get them to multiple championships versus the Heat and win and things like that. And, you know, guys that played against Kobe and Tim Duncan, obviously, who's, you know, just very much of a, one of the strongest leaders we ever seen in the game, probably the best four man we've seen in the game. So, you know, it was a blessing to uh, make that transition to, you know, my favorite team, my dad's favorite team, and to sit there and learn so much uh, my first year, like how to be a professional. You know, it helped me, like you say, eventually make the NBA now because, um, you know, I got to just, you know, see such a high level of basketball and learn from so so many so many guys you know through that training camp and in those two months and you know, like i say i ultimately got waived but those two months um set the tone for my career for sure so then you played your rookie year in uh for san antonio's d-league team at the time and i also just want to throw in there that yeah things have changed completely since you first entered the NBA with two-way deals and exhibit 10 deals, which you're on right now, the game's yeah. changed completely since then. So it's, it's much yeah. easier now to get an opportunity than it was back then. Yeah. The team, um, and it, you know, it was only at the time, like 14 or 13 teams scattered all yeah. over. All of these teams are, you know, is more teams and they're connected to their actual, you know, the big team now, the big NBA team. So yeah, it's definitely a, it's, I like to say it's a blessing that I was able to, you know, score points in the D League and the G League. <laughs> so yeah. I touched almost every league. There you go. 